Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to make a video really to show you some of the collaboration and presentation features of Gravity Sketch. Um, I've been learning about them myself recently and I think they're very powerful, um, but not everybody finds those features immediately or knows how to use them. Um, so the first thing is you probably noticed that you're viewing me uh, in kind of almost avatar form from a third person perspective. Um, and this is a useful mode if you're a VR user and you want to present your design or your ideas to a room full of people who are not using VR. So this is a very kind of classic use case. You've got a PC um, and you've got design managers, uh, manufacturing people, engineers who don't have a VR headset, um, but all of them want to see what you've designed or what you've got in mind. So it only works on PC at the moment, um, and it's a little bit hidden. So I'm going to show you how to, to activate this. Um, so just turn around and I'll access my laptop here. So on the screen, which normally shows you uh, first person mode, if you hit escape, um, you get this menu now. And as you can see here, um, there's a smooth head camera mode, mode, which means you get a slightly more comfortable view from, from my perspective. Um, this is the standard view when you start Gravity Sketch in VR um, that will be displayed on your PC. And you've now got this external camera view. Um, just be aware that if you've got Hide UI on, you won't see the avatar or um, any of the, the UX. Uh, as you can see here, you can see all of that stuff, um, which is very useful to explain and teach people how to use the tool. Um, so that's collaboration mode number one. And there's a, there's a few more features to this camera. So um, I can grab this and take it around with me, kind of give you a guided tour. Um, it by default will follow me. So I just put this a bit higher. By default, it will follow me. Um, so if I zoom out and I come over to this model here, it will just follow me. Um, if I turn it around, there is a mode um, where it will then stay wherever you position it. And if I move away from this, you'll see that the camera is staying in the same position, um, but I can move around and I can scale, of course, super tiny or super big, and the camera will stay in the same position. Uh, on the back of the camera, there are other controls, so I'm gonna have it follow me. Um, you've also got a field of view, or sorry, it's like a zoom, focal length, sorry, zoom setting, which allows you to zoom in to stuff. So you can set this camera up to give, of course, a guided walkthrough of your VR creation. Um, and that's only in PC mode at the moment. So I could point it towards uh, the, the creation and I can of course use zoom level here. You could actually save a screenshot from it. And I think the most useful feature is that you can grab this because it means that you can show people an issue from a variety of different angles. So I'm pointing at something with an arrow here but I can see uh, what you see through a, a monitor in the in VR mode, so I can see exactly what this camera is showing people. So that is um, what we call external camera mode, only works for PC, um, very useful if you're collaborating with people in the same room, and especially when they're not using VR. So this is kind of a presentation mode, on a large screen or in a projector, kind of meeting room mode, I would call it, uh, physical meeting room mode. The second thing you can do is, uh, since a while, we've actually had, um, we call it collab mode, which is basically multi-user uh, VR rooms. You need to activate this in your landing pad. So let me just see if I've got uh, an image here in my workspace. Uh, I thought I did, yeah. So landing pad um, is of course the web platform. And I'll just bring the camera over here. It's the web platform uh, that you can access um, through your account. And on your workspace, you'll have here uh, landing pad collab. Every single user, including our, our free users, 
has access to one collaboration room. That collaboration room can be shared with four people. I think if you're on the free license and if you're in a business license, I think it's more, maybe 10, but don't quote me on that. Um, also, if you're in business license, you can have more collaboration rooms, more organizations and teams and a whole bunch of things on landing pad. But that collaboration room essentially sets up uh, a little bit of multi-pair code on a server um, and you can invite via email as long as they've got a landing pad account you can invite them through this menu um, let me just see if I can use uh, my pointer here so you can invite them um, you know through this menu as long as they've got a landing pad app, uh, account so if they've got VR they'll be able to go into their uh, VR application, whether it's standalone or PC, it doesn't matter. They'll be able to join that room and then you'll be able to see on the free version up to four other VR or three other VR users. So in a total of four. And of course, you'll be able to speak to each other. You'll be able to use your microphones and have a collaboration session. As you can see here, you can see the user interface uh, that works in collab mode as well. And it's extremely useful um, to show other designers your work, uh, even to bring in design reviewers, uh, other stakeholders, and show them, even if it's briefly, in stereoscopic virtual reality, what your three-dimensional creation looks like. And that's a, that's a really key thing. Um, as I've just shown you, this third-person camera is your way to show people on a Beamer in a meeting room, and is a new way to collaborate since August 2022, so just a couple of weeks ago. Um, and that's why I've got this button highlighted here. So I'm just going to grab and zoom right in so you can see it. So on the top right, when you've active, when you've clicked on this uh, landing, uh, this collaboration room, you've got this new button, which is to open this on a, a 2D device. So at the moment, that's a Mac or a PC. Um, if you don't have the Gravity Sketch application installed, it will give you a link to install. Uh, gravity sketch just directly on, on that machine if you've got it installed it will fire up that collaboration room in um and it'll give you an option to go into vr or the new option which is to go in 2d so i'm going to tell you a little bit more about that because I, i'm actually in a room connected with a 2d user so we're going to use this camera and take you over to this model over here so you can see this as well. I'm just gonna set up the camera a bit better. So you can see here, up here, there's a, a tiny floating rectangle. And this is actually, um, if I go behind it, you can see that it says Tartansky, I think, or maybe you have to come in front. I'm not too sure how that text displays uh, from your point of view. This is a 2D user. So this is somebody who's joined the session, could be on a PC, it could be in a Mac. Hopefully in the future, we'll be on uh, mobile devices as well. Um, and you can see down here that there's a laser pointer. So they're actually pointing at something uh, from that mode. So I'm going to go try and uh, act, sit at my desktop, which is on the same desk. And yeah, if I move my mouse around, you can see that that laser pointer is moving around. So you've got full um, synchronous collaboration Oh, I've just seen it. My hand tracking is working now. So you've got full synchronous collaboration between the 2D user and any user uh, in VR. And that's an absolutely key thing. So they are an active participant, an active part of the collaboration center uh, session. They can drive uh, their avatar around um, either using the keyboard or um, we can actually use the viewpoints. So uh, let me pick up my controllers again. So the viewpoints uh, was this menu, um, which I'm just gonna peel off, at the bottom of your purple button. Um, this allows you to create um, views, which can be essentially used to walk a 2D user, or a screen user as we call them, through a review session. So you create these views here using, a, using this tool that I've got active. It just allows me to create a camera position at the end of my cursor or my, my pointer. And that's a way where you can drive those uh, 2D users through different set views. Um, 
the reason we do that is that not everybody who's um, attending is really used to driving an avatar around a 3D space with keyboard and mouse. Um, so we can use these views to give them a kind of curated experience. Of course, people pick up the whole navigation relatively easy. There's a kind of double click to zoom in and center and something. Um, and they use the kind of arrow keys or the WASD keys to move that uh, view around. Uh, but you can provide this curated view, as I said. So that's um, some of the tools which are in Gravity Sketch today that allow you to collaborate in several different ways. So just to repeat again, there was the external camera. This is the one I'm using, only available on PC um, for now. Um, but that allows you to project from your laptop or PC onto a Beamer probably into a meeting room and a, and a, or a large touch screen, that kind of thing, to allow uh, non-VR users to see what's going on inside the world of Gravity Sketch. You can, of course, switch it between this external camera view um, to the smooth uh, first person view um, by hitting escape. Just to repeat this, you have to hit escape on the PC mirror view. And then you've got virtual reality collaboration so up to four users on a free account can join the collaboration room. You have to invite them via um, landing pad, um, but that is a very simple process. And you've actually got some control in landing pad of what they're allowed to do in the room. Uh, so you can kick them back out of that room as well through the landing pad capability. And since August, you can invite non-VR users into your collaboration sessions as active users. So that's for real time remote collaboration. People who are not in the same room at the same time, even if they're not using VR, can now um, collaborate, uh, point at things. They can even actually do redlining and put post it notes in. I haven't prepared that for you just now, but in the 2D screen app, there's post it notes and redlining, uh, which can be used, of course, for asynchronous collaboration. So that's all from me just now. I um, hope you find this video interesting. I hope it allows you to use Gravity Sketch in a broader spectrum of your workflow. And I hope it allows you to get stakeholders, friends, family, customers, clients uh, into Gravity Sketch to share your 3D ideas. Uh, take care and I look forward to your feedback on this. Cheers.